Hey YouTube, it's Glenn from BJ's Bootables again. And we got our Cooler Master case in that we're going to be doing the mod for the Borg Cube uh, model building around the edge. So, this is the case. We're going to do a bit of an unboxing here. So, we'll just quickly go over the specs. Uh, it's a tiny little cat box uh, case. It's micro ATF, uh, ITX, or mini ITX, uh, but it has quite a lot in it. So we can take three, um, three and a half inch drives, uh, up to five SSDs. Uh, the front has USB 3, USB 2, audio. We have uh, two expansion slots. The cooling system actually came with two fans and can take a 120 mil radiator at the front uh, and this one actually takes a standard ATX power supply which is why I chose it. There was a couple uh, smaller ones but this takes a large graphics card and a standard ATX power supply and cooling so <clears throat> kind of covered all the bases there for just a cool little case that can still pack a lot in it so we're just going to open it up and see what we got. See what it looks like. Alright, so that's our front, nice easy I.O. USB 3, USB 2, on and off, and audio, inside. They are thumb screws, but they're very, very tight. It comes off in one piece. Dust filter on the top, it's semi removable, I guess. Wouldn't be too hard to take it out and clean it. And open vents on the side. Of course, a lot of that is what we're going to be covering with the Borg inspired thing. We will be trying to keep some airflow as much as possible. We should be able to keep that. We're not able to just sort of work on that bit. Leave that bit of the back open <coughs> and the sides. That's just a little of that. It's all that's nice, it's got good weight, it's quite sturdy. Would have been cool if they put filters in there, but hey, that's not too bad. Um, in here, oh, we got a little bag of accessories, some widgets, cable ties. <coughs> Mounting bolt screws and 
paraphernalia. Cooling and gave us standard screwdriver. So we got one little 80 mil fan on the side there that's already in. And just the standard. Uh, this, it has Molex and a fan header cable, so either way, uh, all our front panel connections. There's a 120mm fan in the front that yeah, you can fit um, a 120mm liquid cooler in there. There is even a 5.5 inch bay if you wanted to use it, but we won't be, it's used for um, mounting of other hard drives. You can, it can take the, other, the SSDs, I think two. Up there, SSD, SSD, so the SSD mounting down the bottom there. We've got little rubber clips that go in. Um, so, there's not a lot to it, but yeah, there we go. That can still hold uh, ITX, mini ITX motherboard, and as you can see, that whole space there is available for the graphics card. So you can fit a two slot graphics card that comes there and yes, you can even just take that bay out. So and basically any graphics card is gonna fit across there with its uh, fans being able to pull straight in and vent out through the top. There's nothing, no venting on the bottom. Um, but that can suck in there, the fan there, that one there, and then your power supply sort of sits out a bit at the back. Um, and we give you some venting, fan venting out through there as well. So it's actually quite a lot of cooling for a very small case. So when we get it all built, this will be available to buy and we can build a system in it, which would be great, or you can just grab the case and build your own system once it's all Borg cubed. So, most of that, I'm still going to work out exactly how much I want to keep as much cooling at the front, so we probably won't like cover it with like anything too much of a panel, but it'll build up the layers off that, probably, we'll build something around there, and just sort of go up and try and keep this venting with just some pipe work and stuff in the front, <laughs> and then, because we kind of, this is cool, I thought we were going to have to deal with a couple of pieces for the lid, um, and then work out how to make them removable, but I can just build this all with the venting and everything still clear as we can at the back here. Yeah, that'd be good to have that clear. Uh, so this um, graphics card sort of blow out through the top. But most graphics cards can sort of eat and you know, sort of breathe through the back there. So even if we come up, leave that a little bit sparser there. But yeah. We're going to get to build most of it straight onto that, which is great. And then the case sort of remains in this, except for some front work. front there as well but yet again removable in the pain in the ass way the 
five and a quarter doesn't look too bad and we are going to cover most of that so that's pretty cool so it's not too much that's why I chose the small case to do this I have there's some bigger cases like the one I did for myself that's more of a cube but it's a very big space and a lot of like venting to sort of deal with whereas this one gives us three of these per panel so that works pretty good you probably only need like say two for there which then gives us this extra one up there which obviously this is just very rough idea of like sort of some of the bits because this is also uh, some of the other styrene so I'm not sure how far this amount's going to get us and um, probably we'll order another one or two of these like mixed little bundles but to see what we sort of got before I went crazy and that's it there it's a little bit finer than I thought it was so that's okay I can order some thicker stuff some different length um, thicknesses so they're a pretty good length to get sort of a L shape to be able to work on L's coming and giving us the layering but yeah that, some of that's a lot finer than I thought so that's cool I will order some more of that bigger one and go the next pack up that's a bit thicker but this should be a good be able to get an idea of like sort of the meteorage I guess you know, to cover it yeah. I'm really open that. but yeah that's our case unboxed cooler master elite 130 so yeah cooler master elite 130 great little cool little case just on its own and we're gonna make it even cooler And if you want to just pick up one of these cases, I'll try and put a link in the description so that you can grab one. Um, because they'd be perfect little. Um, I mean, you can fit that anywhere as a little media center. I mean, as I said, it takes a full size graphics card. You can make this kind of a beast of a computer and just put that in anywhere. I mean this just painted up nicely silver, blue, or red or something, give it a bit of a brushed aluminium finish, um, paint job. Even that would just come out great with this. Nice and simple, you could make these vents like kind of aged and or just sort of um, stand out a bit. Um, just do a basic paint job or even just as is and get it to fit into many, many decors.